People say, oh, I'm from the Middle East, and you automatically think, oh my god, they're a terrorist. And it's not true. You get on a plane and you see a bunch of Arabs, you think, oh my gosh, maybe something's going to go wrong. And I mean, I don't think that way, but you know, that's, that's something that's very common. And then you realize that when you're on a plane with a bunch of Arabs on the way back, that it's like, well, this is what normal is, and I can't imagine life being any other way. Your image and your concept of a place that you've only seen on TV becomes very different once you've stepped a foot on the ground. And you're able to put a face on a place in the world that for many people represents very, very polarizing conflicts. The kids are going to experience something that you can't experience anyplace else. When they come back to the United States, they're going to put themselves back in this culture and it's going to be completely different. And when they see somebody from the Middle East, you'll look at them differently. We're taking a Jordan with us, two choirs, the Premier Choir and the Young Men's Chorus. It's actually two busloads, which is the biggest touring group that I've ever taken. The excitement is just, it's just in the air. It's in the air and they can't wait to get there. Day one of our tour is our 12-hour flight to Amman. Traveling on an airplane uh, for 12 hours with 50 singers is um, very interesting. Kids are excited to get there. They can't wait for the plane to land to finally be in Jordan. I can't wait to see their faces once we land. We're going to a place in which Americans uh, can be viewed unfavorably. And, uh, you know, there, it's, it is an opportunity for us to either confirm those unfavorable opinions or to show a different side of things. It's the same thing that we have, the uh, unfavorable view, if you will, of the Arab world. There are opportunities for us to confirm those or, or to, to change those. There's going to be a performance this morning, and uh, I'm very excited about it, and I think the kids are too. The first performance is at a community center in Amman, and it's, uh, it's a center in which a lot of underprivileged kids get to come to and to do music and arts and get involved in the community. When you're singing in America, you know, you know what to expect, but now I'm in a totally different country, different culture, so you just don't know what to expect. Jordanian audiences are different. They're not going to necessarily listen the same way. Sitting in the audience and being quiet and listening to the performance that's going on, it's very Western, and we're not there. You just have to kind of go with it and understand that. And I think our singers know that. Afterwards, which was really exciting, uh, they, they wanted to perform for us. <laughs> when 
when they went out and started rapping, then there's, there's an instant connection. A lot of it was Palestinian rap, talking about being homeless and away from their homeland and wanting to return. And to meet those kids and know that they're normal and that they're not anything bad, from right there, there's a paradigm shift. I think we're tired. I think jet lag is setting in, uh, which is fine. I think it's something you can fight through, but it's hard to stay, to have concentration. I thought it might be a great chance just to check in with kids and to have some of our adults actually chime in on, on what they've noticed so far. The reality is that we're here doing the artistic piece, but also the social and the cultural piece, and people are feeling that right away, which is yeah. great, so yeah. keep up the good work. Find somebody, connect with them personally in, in the audience. Don't sit there and stare at one person the whole time, you know. <laughs> I'm singing to you. <laughs>so the first thing that I want to do is to really think about you know, how we're going to perform. Hopefully we can raise the bar artistically, particularly with the young men. I'm hoping that the young men can come closer to matching. In many youth arts organizations, when the guys' voices change, there's no place for them. I think that that goes against our mission to say, well, thank you very much and, and, and goodbye. One way to get the young men to grow, to grow as much as they, as they can, is to have them be on this trip. You know, one of the barriers that we have to break down, that it's okay to be a guy that sings. And when, once they become comfortable with that, then uh, it really, it's amazing to see the transformation that happens. A stereotype for a guy would be that they would either play a sport or, you know, just not singing. When I first, you know, started choir, you know, I was a little embarrassed and stuff because I was coming out of middle school, so there's just all this peer pressure and stuff. That's one of the things that, like, makes me most excited about going to Young Men to Sing, the fact that we all can sing together without anyone, like, thinking negative. We're building on a lot of time to see the significant and very historical sites here in Jordan. These are things that we read about in our history books every day and the, having the opportunity to actually touch and be part of that history is something that you'll never forget. You know what, I think, you know, whether they know it or not, I think they, they are, are getting a sense of history and a sense of how special this is. You know, this is a, a very deep history, and so it was very, very cool. No, I just want to say that this is a great deal from them. They are also in the house of the young people, and they are going to start the right day for what I saw today. This is a very good deal. today and for giving us such a warm welcome into your country. I went up to the mountain.
بحبوا يشكروكم على مجيكم على الحفل معنا اليوم وعلى ترحيبكم الجاهي فيهم في الأردن Even visually, our choir can like provoke like conflict or interests within people. Like I finally realized that just by being together, we are making that social change in some ways, and just by showing it to people. I could see all around. Right, what, if, what do you think about the Americans? Uh, you know, you can tell the honest truth about. It. How does the three uh, Palestine people and something like that? Yeah, how do they, yeah. I could see all around me. When I got here, I saw all the people and I'm like, wait, they're just like us. They were, uh, they had Facebook, they had everything. It just made me realize, like, um, I don't know, I guess I feel a little bit, I felt a little bit naive. My best friend is a Christian. <laughs> Her name is Regina. Do you guys talk about religion? No, we are just best friends. Don't talk about that. What do you talk about? Girl stuff. <laughs> the beauties of this choir is that it brings so many different kids together. No matter where you are, no matter where you come from, there is no discrimination. come from a very tribe-driven society that sometimes rules and um, we try to understand others and that's why it's so important to bring groups like this outside Amman to, for the kids, for the people to see and to learn and to be exposed because sometimes it's the first time for kids to be exposed to foreigners, let alone Americans. I'm Jewish and I'm from Israel and I don't think normally I would be coming to Jordan since it's a place where a lot of Palestinian people are refugees. My whole life people have been like, oh my gosh, I hate Palestinians. They hurt our people and I've never even met one and I had such a bad opinion of them and now I've met one and it's just like, wow, how could I be thinking things like that? this performance, uh, especially with it being youth, you know, with, with all adults, maybe they're, you know, sometimes they're set in their ways and it's a very hard thing to do, but with youth, it's, it's instantaneous. They can kind of get a taste of what American culture is like and, and, and hopefully it's something that's positive. I think that, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to, to plant a seed, to change uh, a mindset on what Americans are supposed to be like and what they look like, what they act like, who they are as, as individuals. And, and if they can see that we're just like them, that we're all the same, essentially, then, then, then we're going to do something positive.